Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of uh, Second Life's Travels. We are walking down the street and we are going to take a look today at Insert Coin Arcade. Now I've had this place sitting in my landmarks for a while now, like quite a while, and uh, I'm quite happy to finally get around to uh, including it into something here. As I've hit, I've been here for, I always come around here like every couple times, every few years, something like that. It's been around for a pretty long time. So yeah, this is filled up with a bunch of uh, different arcade games and whatnot, and outside is this little fun little game thing. I may sound a bit tired because I just came home from work, but I figured it's been a while since I've gotten a chance to do one of these, so... I guess I'm paying a uh, linen for this. So I'm kind of playing this by myself, although you can have other people play with you. Though it has a single player mode, which is nice too. I don't know if this is like their newest game out since it's out here or what. Just waiting. Come on. Nothing, really? Okay, there we go. Just gotta bring the fish up further. You pretty much, I guess, have to be hitting it for it to go up, and I'm kind of bad at this already. The bubbles are, like, arcing, so it's kind of... But I've kind of gotten where it needs to be. I just have to make sure I move it only a little bit, bit each time. Gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up. Gotta go fast. Nice. Can you make it to the top in 50 seconds? Uh, maybe? Nice, we've cleared round two. Now we have to do it in 40 seconds. This is probably where it's going to get a bit tougher.
Oh, we were so close. If only we had like five more seconds. Oh well. I think we've spent enough time outside, so let's go ahead and head on inside and see what else we got here. As you can see, we're kind of on a beach here. Flotsam, float some beach or something along those lines. Let's go ahead and take a look around this place. It's actually been a while since I've used a Homestuck avatar. I used to use those all the time for these videos, but I kind of got off track of doing that. But I am back trying to do that again, or at least for this video. Who knows about the next one? This place definitely has that, um... That older feel of it. Not even just by being an arcade, but it has that feel of being something that was made... Like, quite a while ago. Nice, we can get prizes here, which is pretty neat. Um, I think we need something to be able to get that though, let's see. Ticket roll. Right. Man, I've only been to like an actual arcade like maybe a handful of times in my life. Like I was in that period of transferring over. I was like in that period of time where it's like, um... Of like the late 90s, um, early 2000s probably was when I went to arcades. Actually, maybe not even then, maybe it was earlier than that. Because I can only remember, like, I don't know, there was, like, arcades. Like, the only place I can think of right now that has an arcade would be the, um, <coughs> places, uh, like, the theme parks nearby. Like, uh, Universal. Islands of Adventure. I remember them having, like, a pretty good, I good size arcade in there, but that's kind of a special case. Otherwise, I remember things like, uh, I used to have a mall around here before it went to complete crap. In fact, it closed down, I think, last year. Maybe it was two years ago. And, um, there was an arcade in there for some bit of time, but it closed down, like, I think in the early 2000s. Something along those lines. And besides that, the only other arcades I can think of were at places like Chuck E. Cheese or CeCe's Pizza. Although I don't even know if I would count the one at CeCe's Pizza, that was like a small room that had... I don't know, like four arcade, mach arcade machines in it. And like one pinball machine. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this game out. Uh, where was I? I've kind of gotten a bit off track with what I was explaining about this arcade of my own, like, history, but...
Okay, there we go. Training round. Okay, this might be a bit of a problem. With something like this, if it doesn't texture right for me. Like that, yeah, that might be bad, but... Alright, round one. the heck. I don't know why I didn't count that. I guess the game was being a bit finicky. Round two, theme park. <laughs> okay. I can't believe the training round actually apparently counted towards my hearts, because I only lo died to one uh, zombie so far, and yet I only have one heart left. And I think I messed up twice during the training round. Round three, the mall. Okay, none of them then. And then all of them are zombies. <laughs> Round four, the Big Apple. Zombie. Zombie. Now I'm not having so much in the way of texture problems because they aren't using any new uh, images. Shoot. Oh well. I have won a ticket though. That's pretty neat. So we can move on to another game here. Some of these games actually were in my playthrough of, or not even playthrough, my my travels video of uh, Freddy Rumpus Factory or something along those lines. Like Fra Freddy's Invaders, I believe, was one of them that were there. Which, if I had to pick one of my More enjoyed games here on Second Life. Oh, it would be this one because it's pretty neat, and it's not really anything that's heavily reliant on seeing textures and stuff like that. And basically what will happen is they will show aliens on here and they'll have a bit of text above them and you just type out that word and it will destroy the aliens so it's like a time text attack or something along those lines. And eventually the, world, the words will get really crazy and they'll become like weird phrases and stuff like that. I forget how far I got when I played this last time, but basically every wave adds on another word or something along those lines, I think.
And I'm kind of terrible, usually, just rant- Like, when I'm trying to talk to somebody, I'll mess up on words a lot, or I'll forget a word completely. But I actually do pretty well on things like this. Come on. Well, that's different. This is just trying to mess you up, but I actually find it kind of easier to do this than doing a bunch of smattering of different words. This one's a bit different though, because now they're kind of trying to trick you up. A Grizzly Eldritch Horror. Cthulhu going through a drive through at a McDonald's. Yeah, this is what I was talking about, that this is kind of getting like a bunch of weird phrases. Oh, I messed up. I may lose this one. That's different. See, I just messed up there because I forgot an entire word there. Because now that we're getting into like actual sentences, I'm more likely to mess up. Oh, I messed up, but I did get two tickets from that, so we're at three tickets now. We could actually buy some stuff with our tickets if we wanted, but let's see if we can get any further along. Maybe we can get five tickets. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I picked Jake Sanji. Sashin. Zanjin. Spring of Destiny. Fist! Okay. I'm probably going to be terrible at this.
Summer of Fury Fist. Wow, I really screwed that up, I guess. I'm not even sure what I did. Wasn't even enough to get the points needed for a ticket. I did bad there. Victor Zone. I actually own this one in my inventory. Because I enjoyed it so much. But it's very, very finicky if it's on, if we're on a, um... It's very finicky if we're on a region that has lag on it. It's gonna really screw it up if it's laggy here. Which even if I don't feel lag, it still can mess up the game. Yeah, I noticed it when I was doing the zombie game earlier too. Some of the clicks weren't registering, so this game probably will have problems. Yeah. For some reason, it's just not registering the hits with some of them. I barely got the target member met with that. I probably won't be able to get 10. Really bad luck there, but there wasn't much I could do. Oh well. Let's see, we, I think we'll go ahead and go with, uh, actually... What's this? Click to play flash-based web games. And here we see on this wall is every single game here. Up for sale. And I did notice they had like two games up for uh, ticket prizes, but it costs like 50 of them. Let's go ahead and go with some ski ball. I could probably get a ticket off of this, because I'm decent at this, I think. This is one of the... arcade games that I tend to see a lot at different places. So I have played this one a couple times. I think that one was 20. I need a good... Oh, I got 40 there. No, that was 30. Okay. Never mind. Oh, that was a bad one. It almost hit that 50 mark. Almost. Twenty is not bad though, that makes it... Well, actually no, that was thirty. And I won two tickets, now I have four tickets. Let's go ahead and detach this. And now I think all we have left are the rhythm based games. Which are going to be interesting. These are basically, uh... Well, 
they pretty much just hit the arrows that show up on the screen sort of thing. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's do it! Oh man, look at that dance. It's glorious. It's pretty slow right now, so there's not much to worry about at least. We're getting into two button presses now. Slow enough to where I don't even have to worry about it though, so we're doing pretty good. Oh man. Now it's sped up a bit. So with each stage, it's gonna speed up. But I'm pretty sure we can get to at least, I don't know, like stage 5 maybe? That's what I'm gonna try and get. I'm gonna try and get stage 5. Because at the moment it's still doing pretty good. I haven't messed up any since I still have 10 lives. Unless they restart with each stage or something. I don't know. Look at that combo, it's glorious. Stage 3! Holy crap, there's 104 stages apparently. Or wait, maybe it's not. Okay, never mind, it's 104 beats per minute, so that actually means... So that's just basically telling me what um, the speed is for this. Okay, now it's getting a bit trickier. Can't even look to see what that message says. Stage four. One hundred and twenty beats per minute. Shoot! Oh, I messed up a lot there. Come on, I'm so close though. Stage 5, stage 5. I can do it. Oh man. Yes, we made the stage five. 150 beats per minute. That was, that's quite a jump. Oh crap. <laughs> oh crap. This is a bit too much. Oh, I really started bombing there. I did get a max combo of 75 though, that's pretty neat. If only I didn't mess up. 
Yeah, a lot of these are rhythm-based ones, and they're pretty much the same thing, I think. This one I know is, I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing. But we can try it anyways, I have no problem with that. And this one is... Okay, it looks like the same thing, but I also have to press E sometimes. Uh, I guess we can try it. Oh man, look at this guitar. No, I'm not ready to rock. What are we doing? I guess we'll just have to see how this turns out, because I have no idea. That smooth playing. Okay, so as far as I remember, it's like you have to press the button and press E. I'm already screwing that up. I, I can't get this, come on. Okay, I can get the ones that are single button presses, but for whatever reason, the game doesn't really wanna... Okay, I'm crap at that. I couldn't quite get it, to be honest. It was weird. Like, the game wasn't registering me pressing three buttons at once. Or perhaps that was the problem in the first place. I have to press them all at once, or maybe? I don't know. The other rhythm game didn't do that, but... This will let me do it, too, I'm pretty sure. This is the one that I played over at Fruity Rumpus, I believe. Show us your style. Show us your moves. Rise from your grave. Check it out. I'm not sure which one I actually like better out of the two. Um. I, I don't know. I think the dancing one might be a little bit better because it has actual music to it instead of just the scratching noises this one does. We could probably get the stage 5 with this one too.
Stage three already. Now it's starting. To, now it's probably going to get a bit harder. Wonder if I can break my seventy-five combo from the other one. Yep, I apparently did. Can I manage a hundred combo? I, I don't think the discs are supposed to be on fire like that. Somebody help me, please. Yes, we got over a hundred. I actually seem to be doing better on this one than the dancing one. Although I think it seems like there's less, uh... multiple tabs with this one. Okay, stage five, and I haven't- I haven't even, like, lost a life yet. I'm sure that's gonna change. Wow, I'm doing pretty good actually. Oh. I think I can make it maybe to stage six. Maybe. <laughs> Yep, I made it to stage 6. Although it doesn't look like the beats per minute changed. That's kind of weird. Uh, oh, I screwed that up. Oh well. And I do believe... Oh, I got some tickets from that. Six tickets, that's pretty good. And I do believe this is our last game, actually. Whack-a-mole. Pretty standard game. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the malls, don't hit the rapids. Let's go ahead and do this. Holy crap, that's a lot of malls all of a sudden. Oh, I'm dumb. The rabbits look a lot like moles. That's pretty bad. Three hundred points. Okay, doing pretty good. It's like mid-click. I realized that I made a horrible mistake. Four hundred points. Can we reach five hundred? If I hadn't hit like three rabbits, we'd be already there. Okay, nine tickets. That's actually pretty good. And now I do believe we will go and spend those tickets. Although I don't even know what we're gonna buy. Did we ever try this one? I don't remember. Uh, okay, so this is just like 
standard games or something. Or it's not even that, it's websites to them. That's kind of... Meh. Anyways, let's go and take a look at some of the stuff we can get prizes from. We don't have quite, we don't have 10 tickets, so we basically have enough to get like a 5 ticket prize and a couple 1 ticket prizes if we want, but the 1 ticket prizes seem kind of meh. Yeah. Arrow through the head gag. off the gummy braces and there we go thanks everybody for watching and I will see you guys in the next video until then groove out everyone this swagger